Okay, so after you decided that, I think the next thing that's very important to do is to understand the world that you're getting into. You probably are hearing a lot of words, AI, ML, like machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, etc., natural language processing, computer vision, so many words, so many hyped up words just, just floating all around. But I think it's very important to understand how this whole area is structured so that you can make better, more informed decisions of which area that you want to go towards. Because otherwise you're like, yeah, natural language processing sounds interesting. And then you go there and then you realize, well, this is very different than what I imagined. Okay. So let's start. The first one, the, uh, the over uh, the umbra umbrella term that we have is AI, right? Everyone says, we're doing AI, we're interested in AI, this company is doing AI, AI powered everywhere. So what is AI? So artificial intelligence is basically a discipline of computer science. At least, I don't know, maybe some people will argue that it's a separate topic now, but it definitely started under the uh, umbrella of uh, computer science. And artificial intelligence is just basically trying to find a way for the computers to do things independently. But this does not mean the robots, like, you know, the classic example is like Hollywood robots or like Terminators that we see online. There is actually terms for that. So th those kind of things, like, you know, the, the robots or the systems that can do anything, that can supervise anything or help you with the running of a spaceship, for example, those things are called general AI. So general AI means that a system that can do anything and everything. Uh, but more realistically, what people are working right now is called narrow AI. And that means that are systems that can only do one task at a time. They are, um, maybe they look, you know, very good at what they do. So that's kind of like people sometimes say, oh, this is so scary. This, the, the suggestion algorithm is so good. But it's not actually scary because that is the only thing it can do. Like it cannot start killing people because it can suggest good ads for you. Uh, so what does it look like? This looks like, for example, uh, I had a guest on my podcast, for example, someone who said she is working on uh, guessing how much a tire can still be used in a Formula One race. So this is one AI system. Or online ads that you see everywhere. You know, you go check out things all over the internet and before you know it, you start seeing ads that are relevant to what you're interested in. It could also be self-parking cars, self-driving cars. You know, those systems use a combination of uh, AI um, technologies and it's able to see, oh, there's an individual, there is a car, there's a pedestrian and everything. And then it's able to uh, see what to do or like how to park or how to drive. So those are the things that AI system systems can do. So that was narrow AI, but AI also divides in some other ways too. There is a knowledge representation and reasoning part of AI, and there is more the learning part of AI. So knowledge representation and reasoning work more with logic, for example. Uh, it's more like you're giving the computer a representation of the world and making it make its own decisions. But learning is more like you're only giving examples, and it's learning from those examples, and it's extracting the representation by itself. So these are different approaches to AI. There could be more, but these are like the top two that I know of or the things that I have basically worked on before. Uh, but that's where machine learning is. So that's another term that we learned. You know, AI is kind of umbrella term. You have general AI and narrow AI. And at the same time, you have uh, different approaches to AI, this narrow AI, actually. And one of them is knowledge representation and reasoning. This is something that is not used heavily in industry just yet. So it's more of machine learning and machine learning is on the learning side of AI. And these approaches to AI are used to tackle different challenges. You know, you have natural language processing, for example, that's our uh, natural language understanding. You can also say that's a challenge that is being trying, trying to be tackled in the AI world, or you have computer vision. You can also think it uh, as a challenge. Of course, this is not one challenge that will be solved. It's just, you know, you have Okay, first you have the English language text understanding. After you've done it, maybe you want to understand Italian language. And then you want to make a system that understands all languages. But then you are using, you know, normal day language. Maybe you want to have a system that understands medical language. So these are all different challenges within challenges that we're trying to solve.